Today's topic is otosclerosis. Otosclerosis is characterized by an abnormal growth of bone near the middle ear. Otosclerosis is the most common cause of hearing loss in young adults. If left untreated, hearing loss will worsen progressively until it results in complete deafness. The two ears may be affected, but it is very common for one ear to be more intensely affected than the other. Both men and women get affected, but it is more common in men than in women. Causes Otosclerosis has to do with the small bones in the middle ear, usually the one called the stapes. For hearing to occur, the stapes bone has to vibrate. However, when bone tissue develops around the stapes in a way it shouldn't, this bone development prevents the stapes from vibrating normally in response to sound waves. In the absence of the vibration, sound can't travel from the middle ear to the inner ear. This makes it harder for hearing to occur. The following factors can raise your chances of otosclerosis. Family history. Otosclerosis usually runs in the family and may be passed down. Measles. If you had measles at any time, your risk may be higher. Fractures to the bony tissue around your inner ear. Autoimmune disorder can also be linked to the condition. Pregnancy. According to experts, a pregnant woman with otosclerosis is more likely to lose hearing faster than a man or woman who isn't pregnant. White people are more likely to get it than people of other races. Symptoms. Hearing loss, which may either occur in both ears or in just one ear. You may notice that you are unable to hear at low frequencies, such as people whispering or low-pitched sounds. Dizziness. Ringing or hissing in your ears. Vertigo or balance problems. Diagnosis and treatment. In making a diagnosis, the doctor will ask about your family health history, take a closer look at your ear, and test your hearing. Your doctor may request you to cover one ear each at a time. This is done to check how much you hear spoken words and respond to other sounds. Sometimes your doctor may recommend a CT scan or a series of x-rays taken at different angles which are put together to make a more detailed image. If you discover you have trouble with hearing, seek the help of an otolaryngologist or ear, nose, and throat doctor. Treatment. Getting treatment can improve your quality of life drastically. Hearing aids may help your condition and may be recommended in the early stage if you do not wish to undergo surgery. Stronger hearing aids may be required as time goes by since deafness is progressive. Your doctor may recommend a surgery called stapedectomy. This surgical operation can provide a better solution as it restores hearing. With this procedure, a device is inserted into your middle ear that moves the stapes bone, allowing sound waves to travel to your ear for better hearing. If otosclerosis is affecting both ears, your ears will be operated on one at a time. After the first one, a waiting period of six months is needed before the second ear can be operated on.